Hello, this is John Mount from WinVector Consulting. When we teach statistics or data science courses, we usually use Python or R. If we're using Python, we install the whole thing using Anaconda from Continuum Analytics. When we're teaching using R, we say install R from CRAN and install R Studio from R Studio itself to get a little more user interface. We're going to demonstrate how to do that for R. After you've downloaded R from CRAN, install it by clicking on the package. We're demonstrating this on OS X, but the procedure is similar for Windows and would be done with a package manager for Linux. Once you have R installed, which is the main analytic platform, install RStudio to get some more user interface options. Now that we have RStudio installed, we can run it. This brings up the R Studio user interface. The tab here on the left is the R console. We can type math in it and it'll be done. To use R effectively, we're going to need a number of common packages. To make that quick, I've saved a list of those on GitHub. Under the WinVector GitHub account, the examples, project, install R packages. All we need to do is copy paste the command from this document into the RStudio command window and press return. For OS X and Windows, most of these packages are available in pre-compiled form. Therefore, we won't need the System C compiler to do work. If we do try to install packages that are available only in source form, we will need a System C compiler to build these packages and possibly even to build a Fortran compiler. For OS X, the C compiler is installed by installing Xcode and Xcode command line tools from the Mac App Store. For Windows, you need the R tools package to help build the C compiler chain on Windows. For Linux, it would be a matter of installing a number of packages, including G-Fortran, using the package manager. However, for this step, we probably do not need the C compiler. One of the features that the package DevTools gives us is the ability to install packages directly from GitHub without using the primary CRAN repository or any of the mirrors. To do that, you would just run the command DevTools install from GitHub. However, this command may require the R curl package to work, which itself requires a system curl library to be installed, which is sometimes difficult on Windows, and it also may require the C compiler toolchain to bring in some of the dependencies. The other way to install from GitHub is just to do it yourself. To install WinVector WV plots by hand, we go find that package on GitHub. We download the zip file, and then open the zip file. That unpacks WinVectorPlots master. We go into there, click on, Win, click on the R project. That failed. We'll do it again. When it succeeds, it causes the R Studio to re-navigate to that project. We are now in the WinVectorPlots project. To install it, all we need to do is go to the Build tab and press Build and Reload. That will build the project, load any dependencies, 
and load it into our workspace. To check this is all working, we're just going to make a simple practice file. The importance of running this practice file is it may also trigger installation of additional tools needed by RStudio. If such tools are needed, RStudio will ask permission and then install them itself. To do this, do File, New File, R Markdown. Go ahead and leave it untitled. Hit OK. It has now created a new Markdown document that we're working with. We're going to knit it by pressing the Knit HTML button. Go ahead and save it as unsaved, untitled. And it has now run every single R command in that file, produced the output, and interspersed any text, commands, and output into one shareable HTML document. If this pops up, you now have a very successful R install ready to do significant data science.